A.A. Ron. Yeah. Why didn't you say it the first time I said A.A. Ron? Because it's pronounced Aaron. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! You done messed up, son. You done diddly dog messed up. They gone done did it again in Denver. Scientology and the goons that work at the organization over there done messed up again messing with Denver Scientology audit. Guys, if you don't if you do not yet subscribe to Denver Scientology audit on YouTube, you got to go over there and give Jay a subscribe. Since Jay has been live stream protesting outside of the Scientology org in Denver, they have repeatedly harassed him with false calls to the police, calling the police, pretending to be Jay himself, reporting himself to the police. The police show up. They've drawn weapons on him. They've made him get on the ground. They've put him in cuffs. That's what's happened in the past. Today, they crossed the line and a Scientology Sea Org member got arrested by the Denver police uh, for battery on Jay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the actual incident. What I want to show, what I want to say is that, and, and what, I, what I myself did not realize, I watched this on his live stream. What I did not realize until I was screen capturing the video, zooming in to do the thumbnail for this video, is that the guy is not just a Scientology staff member. He is a C Org member. This is a huge deal. I don't know the last time a C Org member was arrested by the police. At first, I thought this was just one of their strategies of sending out like an elderly member to get in a confrontation so that Jay could be charged with a, a hate crime. This is a Sea Org member, guys. I'm going to show this to you. Okay, so this is Jay's channel. And here is the footage of him. Uh, I'll, I'll frame this real quick. Uh, Jay's been showing up regularly. I don't know if it's every day or just many days a week, but it's very, very regular. He shows up first thing this morning in his van. Parks outside the org. The moment he gets out of the van, this is what's happening. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to go full screen. And let's play. Hi. Hey there, how's it going today? Candid camera. How you like that? Look at this weird behavior. Look, I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. See, y'all are ashamed of what y'all are doing. Uh, not at all. Um, yes, look at this, guys. Immediately, right out the gate. Yep. Odd behavior by Scientology. You're going to let go of my property. You're going to let go of this property right now. Let go of my property. So the, the audio cuts out on the original video here. And what we have is the guy grabbing Jay's property and Jay trying to get his property back from him. The audio cuts out on the original video. And, and even, even the original video pauses the stream for a little bit. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this here. So you can see the clock is actually running, even though the video itself is um, stuck. I'm fast forwarding five seconds at a time here. Okay. We see the video again. Okay. The staff members are both up, but the staff member is going to try to escape, going to flee the scene here and try to grab Jay's equipment. Yeah. You see the staff member grabbing Jay's equipment. And trying to flee, Jay is going to go, look, look, you can see the struggle. And Jay, and, okay, so Jay ends up on top of the guy where he stays for the next 20 minutes, by the way. And I know a lot of people in the live stream were freaking out like, Jay, you can't hold him there. You got to let him up. But the fact is, Jay had all the evidence on his side that this guy repeatedly tried to flee with Jay's property. And Jay said over and over and over again on the live stream, I'm staying here until the police get here. He's already tried to leave several times. He's damaged my equipment. And Jay had all the evidence on his side here. By the way, the, the audio is still out in the original. I do not have them muted right now. Okay. Ellie, call the cops. There you go. Sorry. Sorry, Kurt. You fucked up, buddy. Now, Jay happens to... I'm actually going to mute. I ain't as good as I once was. Okay, I'm going to mute the audio, but I'm going to keep going on the video so you can just see that the, the, there's no there's no more struggle beyond this point uh jay basically 
um, I don't know, to use jujitsu terms, kind of has him in full mount from the back. <laughs> um, he's just preventing him from leaving. There is no physical struggle. There are other Scientology staff members around. Both of those people right there are Scientology staff members who I have to say, I was very surprised that those two Scientology staff members were not trying to physically intervene here and good for them for not doing it because it would have escalated and it would have gotten bad. Um, I'm just going to keep fast forwarding here. There are points here, by the way, that guy's just resting his head on the ground. He's uh, but both Jay and the staff member are scratched up um, from uh, the ground. Um, there were a couple staff members here or there will be uh, basically asking Jay to let him up calmly and Jay very calmly saying why he's not going to, he doesn't trust. Let's see. That guy is a Scientologist. Um, he's trying now what they're not saying is that's a Sea Org member because I, those staff members right there are very quietly shitting their pants that a Sea Org member has been engaged uh, in initiating a physical confrontation and theft and battery. And they know this dude's about to be arrested and they are shitting their pants. Jay doesn't even know how big of a fish he just caught. <clears throat> and I believe the cops come at about 2440. Um, and up until then, Jay is very calmly explaining why he's going to make sure that this staff member is uh, exactly where he is when the police show up. Okay, so here we go. You know. How's it going, officer? So, um, this gentleman approached me nonverbal, taking pictures of my vehicle, then approached me, uh, taking pictures and said some, some, something along the lines, whatever, and uh, snatched my phone out of my, my uh, property, started to walk away. And um, I grabbed my phone again, and uh, I grabbed my phone out of his hands to receive my property again. Then um, he then further reached for my property again and obtained it and was um, resist, resisting extremely heavily at the point. So that's when I restrained him, simply restrained him. We ended up coming to the ground. As you can see, all my property has been um, destroyed. Um, he has pictures on that camera. I have video of the whole incident. Um, so he's tried to flee twice. He's taken my property twice. That's why we're here right now. So I'm going to step off peacefully and just get step up to the side. We got Jack. They put the dude right in cuffs. I couldn't even believe they put him right in cuffs before even sitting him up. I thought for sure they'd sit him up, get him off the ground, stand him up, brush him off. They threw the dude right in cuffs. MLH, so I hope you get here quick so you can pull back the stream. Um, so I've been I've been processing for a while now. And um, I pulled. Okay, now guys, so he does explain to the police everything that happened there. And then he has to end the stream so that he can show the police officers the video evidence of his stream. By the way, guys, that's another huge benefit to having um, multiple protesters at a location at the same time when possible. Uh, for example, when I was in LA and I was having to show the police how I was assaulted, I knew they wanted me to stop my live stream so that I could show them the stuff. But instead there was other people there who could, um, um, who either weren't live streaming or well, and, th and they could stop their phones. That's just one of the, one of the advantages. Now Jay did, um, by the way, if you're just joining us and you are not, uh, and you haven't seen the beginning, if you're not yet subscribed to Denver Scientology audit, please do go subscribe to Denver Scientology audit. Um, after Jay finished with the police, he did a short update video. Um, I actually do just want to play for you guys that update video so you can uh, hear it in his own words, what he had to say about what happened. So here we go.
early crew. Anybody just tuning in? Oh, I'm gonna let, let me play this on normal speed. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go one and a quarter speed just for the heck of it. Howdy, howdy. Good to see y'all. It's going to be a real quick stream on an update as far as what just happened. Um, yeah. Um, I think the most shocking part is the age of the gentleman who decided to take those actions. Um, that's kind of what's taken me back. Um, after all this, I'm a little banged up. My legs, my knees are kind of like, I feel like they were hyperextended. So I might go after um, I have lunch with MLH. I might go um, just go get checked up right quick. Uh, make sure there's nothing major going on with my legs. Um, and um, yeah, so check it out. Our battery bank is now in. It's almost, battery bank heaven. Yeah, it's almost in its raw form. Um, we have a few different cells just hanging out. Um, yeah, also, where is it? The gimbal is no longer a gimbal. <laughs> Look at this. Guys, this equipment is not cheap. I truly believe this is one of the reasons Scientology keeps provoking instances like this is not only to make it feel unsafe to go out there, but to make it expensive to go out there, which is one of the reasons I want to keep promoting Jay's channel itself, not only subscribe to him, not only watch him, but uh, if you want to support him financially to help <laughs> help him buy some new equipment, his payment his payment links are also right there on his YouTube channel. Uh, but let's finish this uh, update video. Oh God! And I I don't know how this thing's gonna work after all that. I mean, I I hope it will. Um, but all that can be replaced, and I'll I'll be able to heal just like he'll be able to heal, and hopefully he'll be able to learn from what he just did. Um, guys, I, I don't even know. Um, they're getting spicy. I'm not like I'm not going anywhere. I was even telling the guy I might just set up shop. I might just, you know, this is just gonna make me like double down, triple down. You know what I mean? It's, I'm not it going. It didn't anywhere. stop me from coming out here. So That's it's, what not, I'm saying. I mean, it's not gonna stop us from coming out here at all. So yeah, they need to try different tactics. Um, Guys, whoever that is out there with Jay, please uh, let me know in the in the live chat, and I'll try to bring up that channel as well. Like physical violence and you know trying to deploy the police against us it's not working for them um they're they're the ones who are actually going to jail now um i don't know the exact details um it seems like he did he did get arrested i did want to press tar i did want to press charges i did make a statement um so it, it, he was placed in handcuffs pretty much immediately when the officers arrived which i was really surprised about i was i was 100 percent expecting to go into handcuffs the second they arrived i was i was already like i was i was ready i was already knew but I just, you know, said I want to peacefully, uh, you know, believe myself from him. And uh, if y'all could, uh, you know, take over what I forgot what I said, but yeah, they went to straight to cuffing him and took my statement. The police were very professional guys. I don't like want to, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, maybe there's just, you know, certain cops that are decent other cops that are just way off the chart, but um, yeah, the ones that responded, I, I can't say they didn't do their job. Like they definitely did. And uh, it was actually funny because it was one of the ones from I believe the second time where I had my freedom tee and the green t-shirt and my camo pants. Um, the second time I got swatted, if I'm not mistaken, it was the officer that was standing in front of me that um, had arrested the Scientologist. So um, that was kind of cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine guys. Um, I'm probably gonna go grab lunch with MLH and just kind of talk about our crazy days and oh, <laughs> oh shit, just, just enjoy our freedom and you know, focus on our health because like I was saying after lunch, I'm probably gonna go to it some type of urgent care or something real quick just to get my leg checked out um, because if it's feeling this way right now it's it's um yeah i should probably just touch base and make sure there's nothing you know strained or torn or anything it's probably strained but nothing major uh, but anyways guys i just wanted to give you a quick update there's nothing much else to it y'all saw what happened and if y'all didn't just go ahead and go to my last stream and um, it happens within the first few minutes so um yeah guys like i said i think i'm gonna be ending here um just a quick little update i'm good it seems like the proper course of actions are being taken by law enforcement. So, um, yeah, guys. Um, let, let me show my bracelet here. I'm not going to show you guys the um, the pertinent information on the other side, but shows I was in the hospital last night, guys. Yeah, yeah. Odds are I'm probably going to be joining the bracelet crew here as well. Um, so, thank you all so much, guys, for hanging out with me and checking in, making sure I'm doing okay. Um, I, I hope you all are well. Stay kind to each other. Try to spread some positivity. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, I will stop that there for now. By the way, thank you for the chat for letting me know. Uh, Mexican long hair is the, oh wait, I just uh, undid my screen share. Let me get it back going here. 
Uh, Mexican long hair is the other channel that's out there with Jay. That's what Jay was. That's who Jay was referring to when he said M L H. So that's awesome. You guys can check out Mexican long hairs channel as well. Uh, again, one last time on sharing Jay's channel. Sorry, guys, got to get my stuff here. Denver Scientology audit Jay. Support his channel any way that you can. If you want to help him with the new equipment, he's got his payment apps there as well. Okay, so I got a few thoughts on this. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of people in the live stream here, including Denver Scientology audit himself. I was not 2D flowing him. Guys, this is some real inside Scientology baseball. Uh, 2D flow in Scientology means flirting with. And uh, I think some people were wondering whether Jay was just flirting with that Sea Org member. But no, Jay wants to go on the record. He was not 2D flowing him. Thank you, Jay. And yes, it was a rear mount. I called it full mount from the rear or from the back. Guys, I haven't trained in uh, over a year, so I'm getting a little uh, shaky on the language. Thank you. Although, got I got to tell you, rear mount sounds worse. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, Ellie says, I called the police immediately. Ellie, are you one of Jay's mods? Um, there's so many channels and so many names. I get everyone kind of confused sometimes, especially when I don't like know them by face in real life. But um, that's awesome that you called the police right away. That is a uh, that is really great. Yeah, so I guess even channels that don't have other channels out there or other streamers out there with them at the time, they at least have uh, all the people watching who can help make phone calls. They, of course, have their moderators. Um, but yeah, remember, I mean, it, it's easier to get a lot of people out there in a place like LA. Um, it's harder to get a lot of people out there in a place like Denver. But, you know, one of the things I said for the, for the LA, uh, not only the LA streamers, but the people who really want to support uh, the channels of the LA streamers is sometimes the best way to support your favorite streamer is just to show up and stream them or you, and, and you can stream the person who's streaming them so that you've got things from all angles. I mean, it might be a little overkill. It might be redundant, but it's also fun to have a lot of people out there. So just something to always consider. Um, let's see. This is, uh, yep. Kim McNeil. Thank you for, um, uh, letting me know that the channel was Mexican long hair. By the way, we've got DOA in the chat, Defender of Ants. Uh, I hope to do a chat later this afternoon with DOA about the hearing he went to. He had yesterday a hearing with uh, Francois Coster, the owner of La Poubelle in Hollywood, tried to get a restraining order against DOA, against Scotty, and um, she was not successful. So um, good to see you in here, DOA. Oh, check this out. Vintage Mama of Three. Mexican long hair was assaulted by cops yesterday. Um, was it assaulted by cops yesterday by cops to file complaints? Okay, I'll have to check that out, guys. Someone send me, someone, someone email me a video and a timestamp of whatever happened to Mexican long hair yesterday. I've been seeing a bunch of mentions of that in the live chat this morning. Uh, Liberty 10 says, while they were waiting for the police to show up, Jay was schooling the Scientologists about Lisa McPherson and giving them the clear cognition all while holding the guy down. Jay is amazing. Triple threat. That is very, very cool. <laughs> Good job, Jay. Okay. So let me see here. Okay. Here's a question. Beaker Bob, why does it matter if it was a Sea Org member uh, who was arrested and not a staff member? Um, I saw this question you know, uh, I don't know, uh, 30, uh, 12 minutes ago when you made it. And I've been trying to think of a really good answer because the truth is this might be more of a big deal to Sea Org members than it would be to anyone in the real world. Um, like this might be a more big, a, a bigger deal to me as a former Sea Org member, knowing how they think when I try to actually explain what the significance would be, there might not really be that much of a difference, but here, here's my best effort. So <clears throat> the Sea Org is like Scientology's religious fraternal order. They're like the, the priesthood of Scientology. They're the ones who sign the billion year contracts. They're the ones who are not allowed to have relationships with anyone outside of the Sea Org. They're the ones who are, don't own homes. They don't have jobs. They work for Scientology 24-7, 365 without exception. And uh, as I, that is a true statement, and yet is, it is also true that the C organization doesn't exist. <laughs> Someone's got to do a video. I know some there's uh, Jeffrey Augustine has probably done a video about this. I'm going to have to figure out how to do like a very clear five minute video on the subject. 
The C Org does not exist. It is not a legal entity. It is not a membership organization. Um, however, the existence of the C Org and David Miscavige's control of the C Org as the most senior officer of the C Org is how David Miscavige controls Scientology. And so a C Org member getting, and, and also you, because it's like the, the fraternal order, it's a bigger deal for a Sea Org member to get arrested than it is for just a staff member who just works for Scientology as their day job or a public Scientologist who doesn't work for Scientology at all. It's almost like you've sort of got uh, uh, how far removed you are from Scientology being able to say they're responsible for you. I guess that's actually my point here. If you're just a public Scientologist and you get arrested, Scientology can be like, new phone, who it is? We don't know that guy. We got nothing to do with him. If you're a staff member, they can also do that. It's a little harder, but they can be like, this guy just works for us sometimes. We don't, this guy lives in the real world. He's got a real life. We've got nothing to do with him. But if you're a Sea Org member, Scientology owns and controls every bit and piece of you. They can't deny uh, knowledge of or management of, or, or they, they can't deny the connection. That guy's a Sea Org member. Now you might go, how do you know he is a Sea Org member? And I am going to show you the part of the video. It's right when the guy reaches for um, the camera. Let me share this with you. Because this might be helpful for all you other protesters out there and you live streamers to know, how can you tell if someone's a Sea Org member? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing. See, y'all are ashamed of what I'm doing. The, the, the answer is the pin that's on his collar. And I'm going to explain further. All they're doing uh not at all um yes look at this guys immediately right okay right out the gate yep. do you see that pin that's those are that's a chevron pin those are chevrons odd behavior oh. by some he has two chevrons so the 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 sea org members used to wear more traditional navy styled uniforms and their their rank the, the sea org members have ranks scientology staff members do not have ranks Okay, in the old style Sea Org uniform, their chevrons would be worn on their sleeves and if they were petty officers, and if they were officers, of course, their bars are worn on their shoulders. He's wearing a pin that indicates he is a Sea Org member, petty officer, second class. That means I'm going to estimate this guy's been in the Sea Org for not less than four years. Now, look, there's no hard rule on the number of years. You could be in the Sea Org for 10 years and still be a petty officer third class. You could be in the Sea Org for five years and you could be a midshipman officer. I'm just estimating based on what it normally takes to get promoted and how many times people normally ask to get promoted. Um, it, it, he's probably been in the Sea Org for three or four years. Okay. Now this is interesting to me because the Denver Scientology organization is not a Sea Org organization. It is not supposed to be staffed by Sea Org members. Now, every Scientology organization, even the ones that are non-Sea Org orgs, in other words, they're called Class 5 orgs, will usually have a few Sea Org members working in it because there are a few key positions in the organization that Scientology would prefer were held by Sea Org members. But that makes me wonder what this guy's job is. If this guy's a Sea Org member, he's not working in HCO Division One HR. He's not an ethics officer. He's not over the ethics officers. I am guessing this guy might actually be working in the Office of Special Affairs. This guy might actually be the Director of Special Affairs for the Denver Org. I don't know for sure. That's pure speculation. But let me tell you something. If that guy right there is a Sea Org member who is wearing the, uh, wearing the hat, doing the job of the director of special affairs, and he just got arrested for assaulting a protester, he is in deep, deep shit. And that is why those staff members would be shitting their pants, seeing a Sea Org member, possibly the DSA, on the ground, in handcuffs, live streaming to the internet. So guys, any of you out there who knows uh, who this Sea Org member is or what his post is in Denver, please email me growing up in Scientology at gmail.com. Um, that was a great question, Beaker Bop. Thank you for that. Uh, Tim Perrigan, Jay, was awesome. Restrained the dude for 20 minutes and literally schooled him on the evils of Scientology the whole time. Epic. That is awesome.
Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Heather HH, aka Triple H, getting arrested is the only way a Seerg member gets a vacation. That is one of the best points I have heard all week. Sea Org members out there, if you would like a little bit of time off, if you would like to get a little more rest than usual, if you would like some good food, better food than you're probably getting in the Sea Org right now, the protesters are there at your service. Feel free to initiate a confrontation, get yourself arrested, and you get to have a little bit of, you get to have a little LOA without having to submit a CSW or without having to get a sec check. It's the best of both worlds. Everyone wins. Okay? Everyone wins. Okay, a, a couple thoughts on this. Jay is putting on an absolute clinic out there in Denver on the right way to protest. And when I say right way to protest, I just mean uh, that's going to uh, uh, um, not the right way, like the acceptable way, the way that's going to be most successful uh, in order to keep continuing. Um, he knows the law. He follows the law. He knows his rights. He insists on his rights. He doesn't let the police bully him. He stands his ground and he doesn't take any shit, but he's also not trying to escalate. And that's just a, a couple words that I wanted to say here, because I'll tell you this, Scientology strategy to get rid of the protesters or to make protesting unpleasant or unsafe enough that people don't want to do it is to weaponize the police force and to instigate protesters into crossing a line so that the protesters themselves can get arrested. Okay. Now, uh, what, uh, what falls as like a sub bullet point to instigating the conflicts is they will eventually start sending out if they haven't already fake protesters, people pretending to want to protest but who are actually trying to get people riled up into breaking rules and breaking laws um, so that the protesters would get arrested. So this is just a word of caution. This is what Scientology will do. So if protesters show up who are trying to advocate for things like trespassing, who are trying to advocate for things like being very quick to respond with violence, or if anyone shows up who's saying, their goal is to get arrested. People need to see that as the red flag that it is. They need to kind of keep those people off on the fringes and not take that advice. Uh, Jay is, like I said, putting on a clinic of how to do it really effectively. Um, and uh, it would be awesome to see a lot more people out there. The more people that are out there, the safer it is for everyone even if only because you've got everything being filmed from multiple angles. But if you have things being filmed from so many angles, it's also that much more important that everyone is um, behaving in a way that does not get themselves arrested. Now, you can be falsely arrested, and that's not your fault. I was falsely arrested. Danny's been falsely arrested. DOA has been falsely arrested. Uh, Confident Chris has been, I think, put in cuffs. Hellcat's been put in cuffs a whole bunch of times. Solomon's been put in cuffs. Um, and so anyway, I, I'm just saying the, the more desperate Scientology gets, the more desperate measures they will resort to, and the more important it will be for protesters to defend their own rights, insist on their own rights, and be um, radically compliant with the law is, is, I guess, how I would like to put it. Um, so let's see. Anything else I wanted to say here? I think that's it, you guys. Uh, one, one last time, if you're not yet subscribed to Denver Scientology Audit, find them right there. Subscribe to them. Show them some of that YouTube love. All right, you guys. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I guess I did always say I would um, try to shout out new members as they join. We broke 700 members yesterday, guys. We're going to do another um, uh, members Q&A live stream in the next day or two. Uh, Autumn J., Thank you for becoming a member. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. So much more to come today and this evening. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Thank you to everyone who watches until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. If you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, dancing, blah, 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 then you could click right in spicy. If you have six squads or not, six.
subscribe right here. Bye!